Hello and welcome, this is S tier ranked. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get us a neat round started. Start with the insect pack and we need to get 50 points. So let's see what we can do to get that. That puts us at 35 and this will put us at 55. Let's see if we can get maybe this down a little bit. Not too worried about help pricing and no hook. Maybe we'll do no clover instead. And um, yeah, that's looking decent. Um, tip scales is a little bit of a hard one, but let's just run with it and try it again. Can't remember if this is quite what I had last time or it was a little bit different, but we'll see soon enough how we do. Okay. Alright, off to trade pellets right away. Okay, let's get the cat. We're going to try out getting the uh, undead cat. I think it'll be cool to see what happens. Okay, um, so there's power up opportunity. Um, I don't really know if it's worth it in this stage. I'm going to go for an insect build, so let's go for item to start and see what happens. Uh, let's see, shove. I don't think that's really worth it. Let's go with pronghorn head. Okay. We keep rolling on. Okay, flying ant. We can counter that with another flying ant just for funsies. Okay. Looks like they're sitting in another flying ant. So let's put in a stinky skunk just to uh, block that ant's progress. Okay. Not looking the hottest here. I think it, we're going to have to play our ant queen to have a chance here of catching up. There we go. Good. And let's get our worker ant. I think that will secure the victory. All right, there it is. Okay, I don't think we have a reason to do a sacrifice yet. Um, we do have pricey pelts turn on, I believe. So I would kind of like to get this and an item recovered. Um, Sigil swaps doesn't seem worth it. So let's just go this route. Maybe we'll have a little bit more teeth by the time we get to the pelt. Hey, let's see. So this one has, is this burrower? Yeah. Okay. Scissors. Nice. I love the ones that let us uh, manipulate their cards in some way or another, whether it be destroying it or getting it off the board. Alright, let's uh, try for cat. There we go. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this one off. Um, they're going to do two damage and put me right there at the edge. Playing the skunk isn't really going to make a difference that stump over here. Um, I guess I could cut a card and we'll just hold on to what we have, I suppose. And I'll break even for a turn or two. Okay. All right, another flying ant. So we'll sacrifice the cat again and that'll put that in there. I think the card's changing a little bit. I saw its legs or a little bit different. Interesting. Uh, let's see what we can get now. Nate Queen. Alright. I guess we'll hold on to that until we can get our grand fur situation. I wonder if the cat sacrifices carry on round and round. Oh, hey, wizard. How's it going? Good to see you. Alright. 
Okay, I think this may be all I can afford. Yep. No teeth yet. I'm doing well. I'm just uh, getting started with inscription. Started about five minutes ago, so you haven't missed much. Uh, let's see. Guess we'll get the bees inside. Here we go. Alright, another fight. I'm going for 50 challenge points today, so hopefully we'll get lucky and pull it off. Alright, bullfrog. Could put a stinky skunk in front of it, and uh, that'll make it useless. Okay. An adder. Interesting. We'll put us a uh, flying ant down. And unfortunately, I think it's going to get killed by the adder. So I may have wasted that, actually, because of the burrower. Yep. That was a mistake. We're going to have to think on that one. Not going to have much time to recover, though. That's the sad part. Okay. I think they're gonna win this one. Alright, we can take out this adder. That might put just enough damage on the board that we'll be okay. Yep. It's looking like we're gonna be fine now. Uh, we're gonna keep playing though. We wanna try to get those teeth. Alright. Hey, it's our cat. Um, let's see. Could put it in front of the skunk, but it's not stinky, so it'll get hurt. Let's uh, slow down things, and we'll try to get some sacrifices so that we can get that cat further along. We've sacrificed it twice so far. Okay. Another flying ant. Here we go. That's a third cat sacrifice, I believe. Okay. Hmm. Don't see a good reason to do a sigil swap, but getting another woodcarver piece might be nice. So I might go that route anyways, and maybe I could put Stinky on the possum or something. Oh, good. Another ant. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can put it on... How about our cat? Why not? Stinky kitty. Smelly cat, smelly cat. <laughs> to bees inside of our insects and every time they get hit we'll generate a bee. Not to the first boss fight. Moving along quite quickly we got here in just eight minutes and 45 seconds even with me playing uh, trying to get excess damage earlier taking extra turns this isn't too bad. All right, I guess it's time for our uh, flying ant to go into play, and we have enough for a possum too. Okay, we can get a flying ant down and have them pull a pelt instead. So let's do that. Here we go. Ah, unfortunately, I think we're going to have bait buckets on every lane. I should have thought ahead on that one. Um, only the possum lane we really have to worry about, though. So, I wonder if we should play this worker ant on top of it instead. Um, or we could save a turn and go from there. Actually, if we put it down now, I think it will have overwhelming power and win right away. 
There we go. Okay. Good. See, that was fast. That was just a minute and 20 seconds, roughly. <laughs> nice. Getting some uh, decent tactics, I'd say. Ooh. Falcon. Yes. All right. On to the next area. All right. Well. Hmm. I don't think I want to do a sacrifice for bone. I think I'd rather go towards the items. And we'll get us another insect. Oh, a ringworm. Okay. Maybe that could be a bone sacrifice if I don't give them up to the fire in time. I don't think I'm going to have a duplicate for this fungi event either. That's kind of unusual. usually have something by now. Ah, okay. Let's see. I guess we'll get our cat in front of the pronghorn so its first attack won't count. And we'll sacrifice the cat for a flying ant and we'll park it um, right here I suppose and we'll go from there. All right, now we should have enough to get the Ant Queen down. There we go. And we'll keep going. And we got a bee. Nice. Okay. Now let's see. I guess we'll draw from here. We got a possum. Possum does get one damage could block things off for us. Could get a worker bee started. Um, or worker ant. Um, in fact, I think I will go for that. We'll sacrifice the bee for it. And that'll be enough to knock out this lane. And I think putting the possum here isn't a bad idea. Okay, good. Not bad. Alright, do I have any duplicates? I don't think I do. Well, I do have two flying ants, but I'm not sure if I want to trade it for just a single stronger one. Um, since it only gets higher defense. But I don't really need another item. I would get a pack rat, however, and having it sigil or just the ability to play it might be a nice idea. Let's go that way. Alright. Let's see. Thinking maybe a pronghorn. Maybe a wolf. Coyote. There we go. Alpha's pretty nice. I really like that card. I'd love to get one that's really strong. Alright, Peckrat, join the party. Here, a wolf cub and a possum. So, worker ant can take out the wolf cub and it'll generate us a bee too. So, let's go ahead and start with that and we'll continue. And we get us a complimentary bee so we can probably get our amalgam started. There we go. Okay, that gets us enough power to do some good damage on the porcupine as well. We lose the ant, but not a huge deal. Alright, we can get us an attack, or a, a pack rat started, so let's just go ahead and pull our tooth in hopes of getting a slightly better item. Wasn't strictly necessary, but maybe we'll get us a better item out of this. Hey, scissors, perfect. Okay, I think that we're gonna win this turn either way. Um, so we'll just let them happen. There we go. 
Ooh, let's see a three blood. All right, the unrelenting dire wolf is lucky enough to survive its first attack. And they expect another. All right, what sigil are we gonna take? The dire wolf on something else. I wonder if that would be interesting. I mean, if we put it on the amalgam, it is one less blood, and it would be more attack. Um, I may actually just do that. That would be pretty awesome. That'd be enough power to take out some powerful stuff. So let's do that. Cost less blood and gets us more attack, two more points than the dire wolf could on its own. I think it's a good trade. All right, so we, we can get some cards or we can make a duplicate and I'm tempted to duplicate the amalgam so we can go strong. So I'm just gonna head up this way. We're gonna have another sigil swap event too, so I think this will be worth it. Okay, Pronghorn is coming after us. Hmm. Flying ants aren't gonna be able to take it on, unfortunately. Um I mean, we can put it down, but it'll be taken out the next turn and with that pronghorn moving around, that'll be a problem. Maybe we can play it in this far lane and I think that the mole is going to not be able to block it if I remember right. But we'll see. Pronghorn's going to be waterborne anyways. Oh, I forgot about the burrower aspect too. So it was going to go down no matter what. Okay. Queen Ant should be able to sustain a hit from the... Um, Elk fawn, and I think this will give us enough of a boost to really get going. I'm tempted to play the alpha. Actually, I think I will go ahead and play it. That'll give the tree some power and me a little bit more attack strength in this turn. There we go. And we'll get us another ant down, and I think that might be just about enough power to almost finish this out. Nice. Oh, they're going to be so mad when we send a bee out to attack them here in a moment. Or a possum. It's going to be a strong bee, too. <laughs> nice. Look at all those teeth. See, those waterborne can be so weak because of them not taking those hits for you when you really need them to. I mean, like, there was. No defense on that. They had good offense, but no defense. Hmm. Let's take another dire wolf just in case we want to uh, take its powers and put them on something else. Kind of wonder now about duplicating it and having a 4 10 dire wolf combo. Um, that sounds pretty fantastic, but. Having this super strong amalgam sounds even better because imagine it would be six and six, possibly, and that'd do 12 damage. Um, I want to go with the dire wolf. See if we can get it on the board. Um, it'll be a good complement to the amalgam. Wow, so this is going to be five and ten, so it'll be ten. Um, that'll be fascinating. Okay. Could always sacrifice its uh, striking ability and put it on another card, however, this weaker one. I have a strong pack rat. <laughs> um, or an ant queen that strikes, you know, harder. Um, those are interesting thoughts, but let me look at these instead. I'd like to take the pack rats and put it on something weak. Uh, or less cost, like say, just a old worker ant, because it's only one blood. I don't see the pack rat as you know super viable fighter. It's not that strong. Like the worker ant catches up to that pretty quickly. So we'll just keep going. All right, boss number two. Alright, got 
got our coyote. We're gonna take it out. So our ringworm could take a first hit for us, or we could have smoke um, absorb that shot. Let's just go with it, and I think that'll be fine for now. Okay. Soon we'll have enough for the dire wolf, so we could play the possum to take out our pack mule or our coyote, and then we'll go after the wolf cub with the dire wolf. Okay. Now we have enough to get our big attacker on the board. Um, and we could play our ringworm too if we really wanted to. Get us a B, but I think we'll go with this for now. And maybe we should put the ringworm down to block the attack from the wolf that's going to be incoming. So even though we're going to get some teeth, it's going to be hard for a moment or two while we're setting things up here. Okay. We're going to get hit pretty hard here in a moment. Alright. So we have another dire wolf. Okay. This is our stronger one, too. So... We're going to get four damage, they're going to get six, so that's not quite enough to overcome things. Um, the cat is stinky and can take the hit though. Let's see. Hmm. I'm tempted to use the card cutting. I think I will go ahead and use it actually. We'll cut this one so the dire wolf can wreak its havoc on that. and. I think that, that may be all we want to do for the moment. Don't want to get too many cards on there and the prospector hits it with its pickaxe. Alright. And let's see. Don't have enough to play our dire wolf yet. Our second dire wolf that is. Um could get our cat down. But Having a bee just to sit in front of the wolf and get at least one hit on it isn't a horrible idea either. Um, I think we'll just do that and we'll hold on to the rest of what we have for now. So we're about to get some cards. Here we go. Okay. So, let's see. I kind of don't want to play our last dire wolf here, so we'll do this number, and we could put our alpha down to get extra attack points, but we've already got four and five about to happen, so I think that this is going to get us to phase two. There we go. Alright, he's hitting our cards right away. Um, ooh, I think we can get our uh, Dire Wolf on, or we can play our Amalgam as well. I think that we'll go for Amalgam. We'll do that by putting our Black Goat down and sacrificing it to form our Amalgam. There we go. Alright. I think it's time for a kitty cat. So, let's see. Oh, yep, got a draw. That's right. So, kitty cat time. And let's see about sacrificing it for something else. I think we're going to win basically no matter what. But if I can get in a sacrifice, we will have something else on the board about our dire wolf pup. It's got to be getting close to nine times that I've sacrificed it in total. I do wonder if it has to be in the same game or any game, though. Nice. But I'm really enjoying this team. This is feeling really good.
Oh, yes, a geck. Gotta have it. Okay. I don't think I have any pelts in my hand, do I? I do have one rabbit pelt. Um, I think I'd rather go to the cave. But I have a better shot at getting something good that way. Three sigils, two of the can, or five bone. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sigils. Um, for two of the can, I think that might be our easier bet, so let's do with that. Okay, I think that gets it because the amalgam, you know, kind of counts as one of any. Awesome. Oh, a cat that is also has the leader ability and fecundity. Um, that might be a nice, like, easy throwaway thing. Look at this great white, though, too. Bifurcated strike on it. That's fascinating. And a beehive that has many lies and waterborne. I want to go with the cat. We're going to have some fun with the cat today. Okay, and let's do squirrel. All right. Ooh, so we got sharp quills that we're going to have to deal with. We have an alpha and a raven egg coming in. Ooh, it's not a good situation. I think it, we need to get our amalgam on the case right away. Um, it can win in one turn for us, so I think that we'll just do that right away and not um, let them get an upper hand on us. Okay. Let's see how many teeth we have. We have quite a few, so we'll trade in our teeth. Give me those pelts. Let's see, can we afford a golden pelt? Nope. We can't afford a wolf pelt though. Um, we might have enough to get that knife too. Let's see. Oh, nope. I guess we'll just go ahead and get the rabbit pelt. That's alright. I think that we'll get what we need. Okay, so let's see, this one is weaker, so <laughs> putting it on the gek is kind of funny. Um, not really much of a value in this, I mean, if I did get the Ant Queen up and running, I guess it could get stronger, but I'd have to have three ants total running. So let's go back for the lettuce. Maybe the alphas stuff might be a better idea. Um, like putting it on one of the ants. Or perhaps a geck, since it's free. I think I'll do that, since it doesn't have a bone cost. And it's only. The alpha only has one, you know, defense more than a geck, so why not have a free card? Um, if I can enhance the geck's defense just once too. That would be pretty compelling. Alright, we got us a kitty cat again. And a uh, turkey vulture. So, and we have fecundity, so we can have another cat down in the same turn. So that's fascinating. Um, this one has alpha power, so we can actually power up the cat and they power up each other, this might get us into a chain event, too. Um, we can even put down our pelt and have attack power. It's going to win right away. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's uh, going to be pretty powerful. <laughs> so I think just one more turn, it should be good to go. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're going to turn this around on me. We'll uh, steal their turkey vulture if we have to. I don't want to lose. 
So we'll take it over. Show him who's boss now. Oh, there's our bee. Alright. And a dire wolf. So we can get it on the board. We'll uh, sacrifice all three of them. We'll take out that uh, pesky yelp fawn before it gets too strong. Alright. Ooh, our geck. There we go. Sweet. That was fun. If I had to resort to using the hook, hopefully it was a worthy cause. Um, let's see. So we have bees inside on the ant. Pretty happy with that. Um, I don't know if I want to sacrifice anything, though. That's, that's not feeling like the best thing. Maybe we should go this way and see if we can get something that consumes bone. And all right, just another possum. Um, I really don't think there's anything that I want to move around. I am curious if I put the sigil, like if I sacrifice this one, if it would go there or not. Oh, I'm in America, so it's um, 8.01 p.m. Eastern here. Okay, let's see. We'll do this and we'll keep bees inside on the insects. There we go. Oh, wow. Is that, uh, I guess you're staying up pretty late then, huh? 2 a.m., wow. That's past my bedtime. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see here. Um, well, we can't get either of those guys on the board, but could get a cat to have Fukunity and power up our snowy fur. Um, and do this. And now we can get our ant queen down. And unfortunately, they're going to hold up their lanes. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I wonder if it will actually let me do it nine times this way, or you have to play it. Okay. And now our dire wolf could be put down on the ant queen side, and it'll do four damage. I wonder if that'd be worth it. Um, we're going to lose both of these cats, so I might not get another good chance, so we'll do this. Okay, and that'll take out the boulder. I think that'll be worth it. I'm glad you like watching uh, my streams. It's been really fun to have you, and uh, keep company, you know? It's always exciting to get on here and have a few good rounds of inscription. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ringworm and worker ant. I don't think we have to worry. I think that our dire wolf is going to get us the points we need, so. Yep. There we go. Okay, so we could enhance something or we could make a sacrifice and get a duplicate card made. Um, I think that I'm going to go the duplicate card and sacrifice route because I have no reason to keep the uh, ringworm anymore. Wow, another dire wolf. That's crazy. All right. Let's get us our ringworm sacrifice so we can get us a starter bone token. That'll be nice. Okay.
we could duplicate our Gek that has our enhancement on it. I really like the idea of that. Or have another super strong amalgam. I think I'll go with the Gek since it's a free play and it boosts our size attack power. Um, interesting. It gave it another symbol instead of the alpha. I'm not sure I remember him switching the uh, symbols, the sigils out for. That's cool. All right. This will be a tricky one. May have to uh, get pretty aggressive here and cut some cards, perhaps. Um, like to keep my pelts and getting um, stuff down on the board is going to be pretty important pretty quickly. So let's put down a smoke and we're going to do a card cut. Um, I assume this will take it completely off and we'll just leave that trap sitting there since it won't generate um, damage on us. And yeah, I didn't know you could do that either. That was interesting. Um, but it gave me a completely different sigil. I totally did not expect that. This game is just constantly introducing uh, new things to me. And I really enjoy it for doing so. Ooh, okay. So, won't be able to put down that ant queen um, in this moment, unfortunately. Our worker ant will generate a couple bees for us, so... So, I think that we're going to need to use up our pelts to stave off the damage. I really wanted to hold on to them for the trading ceremony, but I don't think it's going to be viable in this situation. Um, let's get our Ant Queen down, and maybe we can wave a fan. And that'll get us close to phase two. Um, and we can't sacrifice those, so we'll just have to see what we have, I think. Ah, uh, okay. It wasn't going to matter with those anyways. Uh, I should have remembered that. That's okay. I think that we can get better items than this. We'll probably go the item getting route instead. Okay, so we'll lose our ant queen, um, and then our worker ant will turn that into a trap, and that's going to leave us with this situation. All right, awesome. We'll take out our adder. All right, I think we still have a decent chance here. Ah, a geck. There we go. That's enough power to turn it around, I think. Good. So we'll have three pelts to trade, I believe. Um, which is perfectly acceptable, I think. Um, we should be able to turn that around. So, let's see. Well, those are some pretty powerful cards he's got to play against this year. Um, a stinky river snapper. Not like that. Um, we could have the Gek get rid of these columns. The wild bull is going to be messing around. And that moose buck is going to come down soon. I kind of feel like just getting rid of like two of these back row guys and maybe getting rid of um, the wolf because it also has a tail. I think that's what I'm going to do. I may have just enough in my hand to play one of them too. Um, let's take this. Oh, yep, I see what you said. Uh, just a moment too late, but I think you're right. That could have helped. They, I have just enough damage that I've got four, and I wouldn't have quite enough, so maybe it'd come close, but not quite. Because um, there are other cards and move up in front, but it would have been close. You're totally right. Um, so 
It's funny that it's stinky, but the possum doesn't seem affected. I wonder if that's a hidden trait about it. Um, yeah, maybe that was a misplay, because if I could have got something else down, that would have been ideal. Uh, let's see. I think I got excited. <laughs> um, so, could play the Grizzly and it do four damage right away and take out the wild bull. Have to get rid of these guys, but the ant's gonna take care of it. Um, yeah, that's true. The Gex ability is something to consider too here. Um, hmm. I think getting rid of the wild bull makes a lot of sense. I could sacrifice the worker ant and get the grizzly down and that'll be a five attack power and we'll just take the hit with the river snapper because we can take it okay and let's draw from here and we have the ability to play us a um, wolf now and I think that we can put this down like that and it'll give it its tail up to be attacked within the next turn. There we go. Okay. And I don't think we can sacrifice the tail. Oh, we can't. Um, so the moose buck getting on the board may make the most sense from a firepower perspective. So let's get rid of our wolf friend here. And we will put it over here to get an attack on the mud turtle which will take down a little bit of the dire wolf's power too there we go all right now we could block the dire wolf's attack with the squirrel and um we're gonna get plus seven on this turn It'll, they'll get plus two because the squirrel oh actually it's airborne I didn't even notice that my bad hey we got an amalgam now so that is I think worth getting rid of the grizzly at this phase and we can take out our dire wolf nice okay Okay, but yeah, you're right. It would have been smarter to take my uh, three cards in the front. I think that, that would have been a good one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go straight into the battle. I think having this amoeba imposter may be a good idea because it for this final fight could really come in handy. Um, let's see. So we only have a fan and how many pelts do I have? Wow, I have four pelts. So I could trade for four cards or I could use those pelts. Um, what about moving a sigil around on anybody? I think I'm pretty happy with how things are. Um, I guess let's go with items this time and see what happens. Okay. Maybe not the best hand to have here, but I think it would have been better than getting four more animal cards and not knowing what was coming, you know? Okay, here we go. Ah, starting off with an amalgam right away. How bold. Um, we can get a dire wolf started though, and it would survive the amalgam for a turn. Um, I think, let's see, I think it will we'll start out strong here and uh, take out, we'll put the dire wolf in front of the amalgam so that Mole Man moves in to block it. 
and uh, that'll prevent it from coming in for at least a turn or two. Um, and meanwhile, the worker ant can be put on the board over here. Um, I should have put it on the left though. Whoops. I'm getting excited again. Um, that's okay. Either way, I think it's going to work out just fine. thing. Um, I'm not sure if the dire wolf will have time to attack the amalgam. I may have already gotten myself in trouble here. Um, if I use a fan, I think I would get very close to advancing to the next stage, but I'd miss it by like one point. Um, hmm. Let's just see what happens. There we go. This isn't horrible. The uh, mantis is going to come down anyways. So, all right, let's put our possum in front of this amalgam, and we are going to have to just save up. Nope, oh, angler time. Okay. So, we still don't have enough to get us a card on the board. Um, we can have the angler pull the amalgam back, and I'll have a. I think he's still gonna kill us though. Um, maybe I needed to pull the mantis back instead, and we'll leave a squirrel on the other side or the smoke. I think that's what I need. I need him to actually pull the mantis because if this gets pulled, the mantis is gonna strike it, um, if I'm thinking this very correctly. So, let's do, um, let's do a smoke here, a pelt there, and a squirrel here, and I think that that's about all we can really do in the moment. Okay. Alright. Got it. And it's a big risk, but I'm feeling like I should draw from this pile instead of the other one. Because um, I know I won't have enough to put down a dire wolf. So. Alright, a cat. Um, cat could be re sacrificed. Um, However, it won't be enough to get us something going here. The smoke can be powered up temporarily, so that's good. But I won't be able to recover from this amalgam attack, I'm thinking. Um, and even if I use the fan, it's only going to be like plus two versus air plus three, which is going to overcome us. So I think that I probably made an early mistake with the Mole Man situation. I should have had that perfect or else um, I may have been able to survive. Let me think. Oh, I have Fecundity on this though. So I can't get the Dire Wolf on the board. I just realized, oh boy, um, that changes everything. So let's do this and we'll sacrifice to get the cat um, going. I guess it doesn't matter which side, per se. And now I can sacrifice all three of them. And that'll put our dire wolf on the board, and we'll get some points that way. Um, and everybody's contributing, including the smoke. All right, good, good, okay. I was really thinking I wasn't gonna be able to get this, but this is looking better now. Oh, well, till the mantis came along. <laughs> oh, geez. I could have just placed things just a little bit better and maybe use the uh, air fan, but, oh man, that was close. Um, ah, what a good, 
good round that was. I, I think that if I had just made one or two fewer mistakes, that would have been all I needed, you know? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream and say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.